in America, uh, we often hear, especially on these um, particular news stations in this country right here, uh, that people should have religious tolerance. Well, that religious tolerance is, is if everybody's a Christian because if you're anything else, you watch and see how intolerable everybody in this country are. As a matter of fact, they have so much fear amongst themselves. If you're anything other than what they uh, pick and choose and believe, and, and the majority of people in America don't even know what to believe in the first place because what they do believe is all based and built upon lies. You know, it's amazing the hypocrisy of this country, America. Um, we, um, every time there's what you call an alleged terrorist attack, the first thing we want to do is you want to start talking about vetting people of different ethnic backgrounds um, and, and say that we need to be a little bit more strict um, and the FBI needs to centralize their focus a little bit more on the people that are coming not only in the country but out of the country. <clears throat> but at the same time, the brush is so broad that the FBI is collecting so much data on the American people and stuff. Like I said before, when 9-11 happened, they made us all terrorists. They made us all terrorists and um, because you look and see uh, all the laws pertaining to us, all the law-abiding citizens. Now look at us every time we go to an airport. We have to be treated like criminals. Every single time you go to the airport, you're getting frisked, you're getting everything else done to you. It's just utterly amazing. But all, but, but you're, And then not only that, the people that are hired, they look at you as potential terrorists. Utterly amazing what has gone on. The reverse psychology, the dismal ignorance of the people that they hired and put in these positions, it's just literally amazing. When are we going to start talking about the terrorism that we cause all across this world? When are we going to start talking about that? When are we going to start talking about uh, the countries that we're going over into uninvited on trumped up charges? And we can go always back as far as the Gulf of Tonkin, just even that far right there, all the way up to this point right here. Nah, the whole nine yards. Trumped up charges. We go in these countries. See, it used to be a time we declared war. Now there's not even war declared. We just go into these countries. Amazing, isn't it? Just go in there. Congress has never declared no to war, no war whatsoever at all in Afghanistan, yet we're over there and losing Americans left and right. That's the reason why I myself personally, if somebody ever come to me and ask about the military, and they do, I do, I do everything I can to deter them from coming. Go on. You know the reason why? Because the history of this wicked country, let's just go back 40 years. The history of this wicked country, y'all remember when Muhammad Ali, um, he was the world boxing champion, and as soon as he changed his name from Cassius K to Muhammad Ali, next thing you know, the federal government, because of his influence, he was the world, the world heavyweight champion and of his influence. He went down there purposely and failed the test as far as entry into uh, the military. But, you know, they centered him out. They, 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 made, they made an example of him, uh, bankrupt him put him through all these court cases and stuff where they, they, uh, he asked for a sentence from the judge right then and there. Five years maximum. Now watch this. You fast forward it 30 years later, you got Bill Clinton draft dodging went to Canada. Ali didn't go to Canada. He stayed right here in this country and fought for his rights and stuff and, and got ostracized um, and, and got made to be out like a criminal. And that's one thing about this country. Once they plaster your face on that news monitor, you are a criminal in the eyes of these dumbass Americans because they have no discernment whatsoever at all. And you can forget about if you're going out here to be patriotic, to standing on your own two feet to do something in the name of righteousness, you can forget about anybody coming to your aid and help you because they don't. Because these people value living and breathing another day under a tyrannical tyranny type system as opposed to being free and having liberty. We don't even know what liberty is. And so even during Mahali's time, they're trying to convince everybody and tell them that they're free while at the whole time you're free as long as you comply to what we tell you to and anytime you don't comply to what we tell you to you're no longer free and we're going to show you how uh free that you're not because we're going to threaten you with jail and we're going to threaten you with a um uh, uh putting a, a check mark on you as a felon and ruining your life for the rest of your life that's what they call freedom Amazing, isn't it? The hypocrisy, isn't it? Utterly amazing. But they didn't do that to these chicken hawks, these cowards, Bill Clinton, Dick Cheney, and all the rest of these boogers. There they. No, they don't. And they got deferments after deferments after deferments. Even Donald Trump himself, draft dodger, five deferments, 
five of them. They're all chicken hawks. Then they all come back. Now they hawks now, ain't they? Huh? They were all chicken when it came time to pull that number. And then they want to talk about Ali when he just flat out stood up against the system. And the one thing I remember that he said was there ain't no Viet Cong ever called me a nigga. And boy, that really stirred up controversy. And they just pissed off the, the feds and the government even the more so. So the double standard is real. It, it really truly is real. And I think more than anything in this country is that it's not that Pastor Dow is a controversial speaker. I think that the people just can't stand the truth in any way, shape, fast, or form. I think that we have been so immersed, baptized into lies that we love lies, our life, we live lies, we have become a lie, that anytime somebody represents any form of truth, no matter what that truth may be, social, political, economic, or religious, we automatically put a stigma on them. And we automatically call them evil and stuff. So, I mean, what can you do with a nation like this that can't even comprehend and recognize the truth when the truth is standing you right in your face? And the one thing, what does truth do? Always set you free. And everybody always want to know the truth. Tell the truth, you don't want no truth. You want to know whatever's going to be less painful on you, and that's it. Because the truth, it pisses you off. It really truly does. Um, but nevertheless, it does set free. But until then, you're being bound, especially with information being withheld from you by this system that says that you're free. Remarkable and amazing. So people are not uh, so much against Pastor Dow because I lie. They hate, to what I, they hate what I say because truth binds you. Truth make an example out of you. And truth really, truly let you know who you are. Because your character is at stake. We're going to find out what type of person you are. And whatever level of truth that you ignore and you do not embrace, it really, truly puts the mirror and a reflection right back smack dab in your face and stuff and let you know who the person that you really, 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 truly are. And most people don't want to see that person. So it's easier to point the finger at the person that tells you the truth and then demonize them, criminalize them, and make them guilty by association because all the logical fallacies that you have accepted in life makes you feel good, and you can wipe your mouth, you can wipe the, the eye boogers out of your eyes and the snot from your nose. You can feel clean when you're really, truly dirty. And, and you know what? Now you don't even know what truth is. You don't even know what a lie is because evil has become good and good has become evil in this country. Where do we go from here? You give me the answer.